Hello soldiers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, we are going to solve Alma Better's assignment 8 from module 1 that is Python for data science and today's topic is functions and methods. And the problem 1 is write a function which takes the Excel column name as an input and returns the corresponding column number. A few examples are column name J column number 10, column name AP, column number 42, column name triple A, column number 703. So when user gives column name, we have to give them the output column number. So logic behind this code, so there is a logic behind this code. To understand that you have to do your thorough research on this thing. So this type of question came in lead code. So there oh, you can just Google it and you can find the logic. Basically from we are having total 26 alphabets, right? 1 to 26 A to Z. So after Z from where it will start. So in Excel, I'll show you, here you can see, I'll just try to open one minute. Yeah, it's opening. So here you can see after Z, again AA. A, B will come right. So the value after Z will be, we are going to find this logic, the number. These numbers we are going to find using that logic behind this code. So you can see, first we gave a result equal to zero. Then here for B in range, length of column name so we are going to find the length of that column name like if if the length is here the length is one only till z one logic will apply after z another logic will apply like here we are having length two right after when we get three digits like when the length becomes three, another thing will apply. So here, then result equal to result into 26. So we are multiplying with the 26. Then we are adding result. This is ORD. ORD means Unicode. Like it will get the unique code of that particular column name so it will give the some integer type of value integer value right so column name of b minus ord of a plus one so to understand this thing you have to do your thorough research so yeah that's what i can say then we are returning the result. So here you can see, I'm just going to run this thing. Get Excel column number of J. Here 10. So here you can see. So here is a J. So we are having J at the position 10. That's correct. So you can check another number also like that. Now we are moving to the second problem. We evaluate a standard machine learning classification model using various evaluation metrics. A classification model is a model which classifies a given observation or an event to a fixed set of categories. Suppose 
I train a machine learning model to classify images of cats and dogs. For each image, the machine classifies the image with either a cat or a dog. So in in essence of each input image, there is a corresponding output by the model. This output can be either a cat or a dog. To evaluate such a machine learning model, which is trained to classify a given observation with at most two labels, a lot of candidate evaluation metrics are also available. Accuracy is one of such evaluation metrics. Accuracy definition. Suppose you are given 20 input images of cats and dogs. You already know from these images that there are 11 cats and 9 dogs. To train a machine learning model to classify these images into cats and dogs, the machine predicts 9 cats correctly and 8 dogs correctly. The accuracy of the model is then defined as correctly predicted cats and dogs by total cats and dogs. So in this case, it is 9 plus 8 by 11 plus 9, 17 by 20. So approximately, so not approximately 85%. It is good practice to report the accuracy in percentages. Okay. You are given two lists, each of length 20. One list contains the actual labels for the images of cats and dogs. The other list contains the predicted labels by the machine for the images of cats and dogs how to read two lists for example for the first image actual label is cat and the predictor label is cat for the last image here you can see actual label is dog and the predictor label is cat the same index in two lists corresponding to the same image so so both the actual labels and predicted labels are having the same length right so we are going to find the accuracy here is our function so def calculate accuracy of actual comma predicted here first we are zipping this actual and predicted yeah then what we are going to do here correct equals to here I am using list comprehension for actual comma predicted in zipped labels if actual equals to predicted then correct okay here correct underscore prediction equals to length of correct so so if first what we are going to do we are going to see so if here cat is there here is also cat is there then it will print correct then like that we are going to check dog dog cat 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 so then we are going to find the length of that particular thing so that particular list so here total image is equal to length of actual then accuracy equals to round correct predictions into 100 here is the correct prediction so here we are finding the length right when cat cat dog dog are equals into 100 by total images here we are rounding off with the 2 like yeah 0. Point two digits after zero okay then return accuracy so i'm just going to run these things here print the accuracy score for the given list so calculate accuracy actual labels comma predictor labels print accuracy so you can see our accuracy is 85 percent now precision for cats is defined as a number of correctly predicted cats divided by the number of 
predicted cats report precision in percentage recall for cats is defined as a number of correctly predicted cats divided by the actual number of cats a report recall in percentages we can define the same two matrix for dogs as well so if you followed a uh, class thoroughly you can understand these all things okay problem 3 write a python function which returns the precision and recall for a given input label use a same tool list so we are going to use the same tool list here also so till till here everything is correct yeah so here 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 what we are doing correct here label 1 comma label 2 in zipped labels if label 1 equals to equals to label 2 and label 1 equals to equals to label 1 no yeah this is label just label label 1 equals to label here label equals to i am just putting as dog so what we are going to do we are going to check if label 1 equals to equals to label 2 and we are also checking label 1 equals to equals to dog then we are doing the same thing here first we are finding the length then number of predicted labels we are just counting then we are finding the precision here for recall what we are going to do first we are going to count then recall here we are using round here also you are using round function yeah so to get the less decimal numbers here we are returning both precision and recall here dog equal to precision recall dog so you can see precision is and recall for the dog 80 percentage comma 88.89 percentage so to understand these things you have to go through the class correctly or you can just do your research on precision and recall then only you can understand when we are entered into the functions and methods yeah it's little bit dry topics so you have to do your thorough research then only you can understand yeah everyone will take lot of time i also took everyone will take okay don't worry about those things write a python function which takes a sentence and uh, a length value as input and returns the count of those words from the sentence whose length is equals to the provided input length value suppose if the input for the length value is 5 it will return the count of all those words which are of length 5 so here we are having marvel quote the world has changed and none of us can go back all we can do is our best and sometimes the best that we can do is to start over here what we are going to do i'm just going to run this thing here sentence we are passing sentence and the length as 3 here sentence equal to sentence dot replace first we are going to replace this comma then pull stop then we are splitting the words after that we are using list comprehension here words with given input equals to words for given for word in sentence length of word equals to length count of words here we are just counting the words by using length function so for word in sentence list if length of word equals to length so when it satisfies with this condition when it is 
the length of that particular word then only it will enter into this list right so we are going to count that list then we are going to return okay so we are going to check this thing so the length is 10 fixed length counts marvel code length equals to 3 of each word and we are having to 10 so that's it for now meet you next video till then bye bye happy learning happy coding yeah so do hard work so that's it that's what i can say bye bye